Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Constantine coming back at y'all with another video and today we have here a pair of shoes that I was pretty excited about. Shout out to the homies at Extra Butter New York City in the Lower East Side for hooking me up. They finally hit me up with a draw win. It wasn't a super limited shoe. I probably could have copped the shoes even without entering some sort of raffle or draw or anything, but this is the release procedure that y'all do at Extra Butter. So shout outs to you for letting me win. This pair of shoes is not particularly hyped. Haven't been doing a lot of hype shoes. Haven't been doing a lot of shoes at all, really, but the last video that I posted, you saw me review the Gyakso Pegasus Turbo 35, which I've been running in. And uh, I gotta say, I really, really love that shoe as a follow-up to the last video. But, you know, this pair of shoes over here, if you couldn't already tell from the box that I have to the right of me, uh, is a pair of Adidas. So Adidas's hype has kind of died down over the past few months. I guess this is all tailwind from 2015. The, you know, Adidas put out the Ultra Boost and had Boost technology in pretty much all of their shoes, including the Easy line. Since 2015, the Ultra Boost became a staple on a lot of people's wardrobes, not only for fashion, but because of function and how comfortable the shoe was, even for lifestyle wear. Fast forward to 2019 and a lot of the Ultra Boost hype, a lot of the Boost hype in general has died down and Adidas as a brand in general has also taken a hit in terms of hype and resale prices for a lot of their shoes has died down and especially those Yeezy. Yeezy resale in particular has also died down a whole lot and if you check prices on StockX a lot of the coveted pairs from a couple of years ago uh, are either staying even kilter or they're dropping down the nose diving and new releases coming out from Adidas they've been not exactly doing the best on the resale market not that I really care about I only really keep shoes that I like, um, even if the hype isn't really there. If you check behind me right now, I got a pair of infrareds over here, had to get those. Come on now, they're infrared sixes, you know? How could I pass up on a pair of infrared sixes? It's classic, you know what I mean? So anyway, back to the pair of shoes that I have here in front of us today. I have a brand new pair of night joggers from Adidas Originals. So the night jogger was originally released a couple of months back in the OG black, orange, and black boost colorway. To be honest with you, I wasn't too hyped about that release. It was, you know, a pretty muted colorway to say the least. Black boost is something we've seen on previous Adidas models. Yeah. It doesn't really look the best on a lot of shoes because the black uppers, mesh, leathers, they don't really match the hue of black that they use on the Boost a lot of times, so it doesn't really fit. You know, so I wasn't really a big fan of the OG colorway of the Night Jogger, but Adidas put out two new pairs of the Night Joggers in, I think, the Cloud White colorway, which I don't have, and then this pair right over here, which is the Carbon. Without further ado, let me show you this pair of shoes. Oh. Bam! Right there. This is the pair of night joggers that I'm talking about right over here. I have worn this once already. I just came back from a little walk. Uh, it's Ash Wednesday today. Shout outs to all you Christians out there. Got my ashes today. Use this pair over here, uh, this pair of the night joggers. And I gotta say, this pair is definitely fire. I love it. Didn't really feel the OG colorway so much because of the monotony of the pair of shoes that it was. You know, it, it didn't really have a lot of contrast. It didn't have a lot of color breakup. But this particular pair over here, you cannot say that about this shoe. You know, it's just beautiful. Take a look at it. Black boost on the bottom, a full length from the heel all the way to the forefoot over here. So you do get that max boost comfort that we've known and loved on uh, not only the Anabees, but the Ultra Boost and Yeezys and every other shoe that uses a full boost midsole. Yeah, so not only that, but on the upper, you also have a black mesh base. This right over here, I believe is either circle knit or prime knit here at the toe box, uses pretty much this uh, black base with some gray interwoven between the fibers over there. I'm not sure if you can call it prime knit. Uh, it doesn't seem as stretchy as the prime knit used in Ultra Boosts or NMDs, for, uh, for example. This is a little bit more stiff. But nonetheless, you do have a breathable mesh uh, towards the toe box of the shoe. Towards the rear of it, you do have still prime knit, but it's overlaid with this ripstop-like material that's on the lateral and medial side of the shoe uh, towards the side panels. And on the lateral side, as well as the medial side, you have your three-stripe branding from Adidas Originals, of course. Um, and a little detail that they added over here that I gotta point out is it just looks like a little deconstructed. You know, it's another one of those shoes that has your so-called off-white vibes. If you take a look over here, three-stripe branding, 
but it has this stitching over here that's slightly offset towards the inside running up the stripe but then extends past the top of the stripe over here and it gives you just this little under construction prototype kind of feel to this shoe that all overlying the ripstop upper you know it just it just feels like something that hasn't been completely finished or is just a rough idea that they just put out over here towards the top just above where the branding is you have this premium leather over here that's overlying the first two lace holes uh, in the front of the shoe and then towards the back of it you have a premium suede uh, that basically forms the top three eye stays or uh, lace loops it's pretty dope pretty dope really good materials over here you have the same exact kind of suede and the zigzag pattern almost making an s shape towards the heel of the shoe i guess that doesn't have any function i mean you can't really call it a heel cup it's pretty soft of a material so it's not going to do anything for stability really and then towards the rear you have this mesh white background with black mesh overlying it just a little aesthetic pop as well also adds to that prototype feel as well as the stitching that's just above that exposed black baseball stitching over here uh, that will bring you right up to the all-white non-branded logo space that hasn't exactly had a logo printed on it and other shoes let's say like a stan smith this would typically be where the trefoil logo for adidas would be I don't know, it's a really nice touch. I like the fact that they left it blank. I like minimal branding on shoes lately. And on the tongue, again, deconstructed off-white vibes on the tongue. You have exposed foam over here towards the edges of the foam. You have this premium suede, the Adidas logo embossed right there on the tongue tag. And uh, it's premium. A little added detail on that tongue. I don't know exactly what you would call that, but there's some branding details right underneath where adidas is embossed onto the tongue it almost looks like morse code i don't know exactly what you would call this but it looks dope it adds to the aesthetic of the shoe it matches the dots that are on the reflective laces oh yeah and last but not least these laces have a white base with gray striping or gray houndstooth pattern i guess you could call it that's overlying the entire length of the lace and the gray is actually reflective so if you shine a light on this this will come out with uh, some reflective detailing at night, hence adding to the name Night Jogger. The original shoe that this was based off of, I think it came out in the 80s or something like that, was intended to be a shoe that you could use to jog with and so that you can stay visible whether it's daytime or nighttime. This of course is more of a lifestyle silhouette. Uh, you're not running in this guy, you know, it's just basically based on an old school runner with new technology and boost in the midsole, but don't get me wrong, this is definitely not a runner that you'd want to run with uh, at least not in 2019. There are too many better options out there for you to want to do that. But overall, dope silhouette. The off-white influence is real. You know, I hate to say it. Uh, so many shoes have uh, used this deconstructed aesthetic. Even the non-collaborative Nike blazers that they're putting out over here have that same exposed foam on the tongue right over here. I think it adds to the overall retro nature of the shoe. If it was a more modern technical running silhouette, I can understand why you wouldn't want to use that kind of aesthetic. But for what they were going for with this kind of shoe, it works. It just definitely works. I'm gonna cut to some on feet shots of the Night Jogger. Let me know what you guys think of the on feet and I'll get back to you guys in just one second. All right, y'all, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the on-foot portion of this video. Let me know what you guys think of the shoe in the comments. Let me know if you like this colorway better or the cloud white. I personally love this shoe a lot more because there's a lot more color breakup, has a black base to match the black boost midsole, and you know what, the color differences uh, that I mentioned before in other Adidas shoes between their blacks so of the, the midsole plus the upper, it's negated over here because of that gray on the toe box as well as well as the, the multitude of grays that you have running throughout the upper. It just works. So let me know what you guys think about this. Me personally, I'm rocking with this. I'm definitely keeping this. There's not a chance in hell that I would exchange this out for the carbon white pair. Not the carbon white, the cloud white pair. Let me know if you guys would buy them to begin with. As for me, I definitely recommend a pair. They are not 
uh, super sought after, they're not super hyped. You can probably walk into specialty boutiques like here in New York, you got Kith where you can pick it up from right away, or the Adidas Original Store in Soho, you probably can find a pair over there right now. I personally love that. I love the fact that you could walk into an Adidas store right now and pick these up, no problem. Don't need to deal with the hype beast or the lines or deal with StockX having to ship you the pair, anything like that. But yeah, that's all I have to say about that. That's it for me today, y'all. I'm Constantine. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.